Hi everyone, we're going to solve these inequalities, rational inequalities for less than 2. As we can see, we have denominator with modulus, so we can multiply it up to the right hand side because modulus always positive for whatever value x here. So we can simplify this question into both sides modulus. But be careful when you want to multiply our denominator right to right hand side. So this denominator cannot take the value of 0. So x cannot take the value of 3. We have to exclude the number that can make our fraction become undefined. So when we have both sides modulus, what we need to do is we're going to squaring both sides, writing our modular symbol to be square root n square. So after writing our modular symbol to be square root n square, to remove the square root, we square both sides. And square root n square, it gives us the term of 3x plus 1 square. And this 4, 2 square equals to 4, and x minus 3 square. Then we expand this. Now you can see we have a quadratic inequality, so we need to expand this quadratic, move everything to the left-hand side. So when you move our 4 to the left hand side, minus become 5, then become plus 24, 30, minus 36, plus 36. So this one positively, plus 36, minus 36, 30, 35, less than 0. And we can see the multiple of 5 here, we can simplify our quadratic, divide by 5. Then we perform our factorize and draw the graph to find the region. So x we have negative 7 and 1. And then the region we want to shape is less than 0. So it will be below the axis. Therefore, our answer will be x in between negative 7 and 1 and x not included 3, although this 3 doesn't disturb our final answer. So if you want to write, also can. Do you want to write, also can. So better we just write it. So x not equal to 3. So if you want to answer in interval form, it will be negative 7 until 1. So 3 is up here, so 3 originally we already excluded it, so we didn't take it as answer. So it will be negative 7 until 1. That's all for this.